Greetings, class. Um, wanted to make a quick video here for Lab 10 for IT 158. This is one of the labs that uh, folks struggle with a lot. Um, unfortunately, we can't do this in the lab. So if you're doing this in NetLab, you can try to do as much as possible. I will give you credit uh, if you can't get it completely done. But if you're doing it in VMware, uh, it can be done. You just have to have a some uh, prerequisite stuff done for your VMware server, your 2019 static server. So let's go ahead and get into share the screen. And I'm going to bring up VMware. And I have my 2019 server, static server running. Okay. The first thing I want you to do before you do anything else is take a snapshot. And how we take a snapshot is we come over here to the machine, right click, go to snapshot. And then you're going to click on take snapshot. And then you're going to um, give it a name. I'm just going to call it Nat Dash Backup. Take snapshot. Okay. And you can check on your snapshots by right clicking, going to snapshot, and then you can click on snapshot manager. And you see here, I have a couple of snapshots. You'll probably only have one. That's perfectly fine. And I'm going to uh, go to settings. And then add, I'm going to add a second network adapter. Click on network adapter and then click finish. Then that network adapter is going to default to whatever it was before, which is NAT. I'm going to change that to host only. That'll be my VM NAT1. All right. I can also make it custom and put it to VM NAT1 here as well. But either way is perfectly fine. Click OK. Get a little thing there. To check on that, what you need to do is go up here to Edit, Virtual Network Editor. And then you'll see Host Only here somewhere. And VMNet 1 is set to Host Only. I have a couple of ones here. You're probably just going to have VMNet 1 and VMNet 8. That's probably fine. Use VMNet 1. Make a note of what this IP address is over here. Okay, so mine is 192.168.100. Yours might be something else. Perfectly fine. Uh, but what we're going to do next is we're going to create an adapter on the 2019 server on that network, on that host only network. So, how I do that is I'm going to click on the window here in the left lower corner. I'm going to type in control panel. Click on control panel. I'm going to click on network and internet, network and sharing center, and then change adapter settings. Written this all out into the instructions, the lab manual, so you shouldn't have any problems. So now you'll notice that you have a second um, network over here. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going right, to right click on it, right click, click properties. So you should have like an Ethernet 0 and an Ethernet 1. Ethernet 0 is what you're using for uh, internet connectivity. That's your static IP. This is your new interface. So go to IPv4 and click properties. Right, you'll see it says, oh, obtain a IP address. So you have to give a static IP. So I'm gonna put it on that 192.168.100 network, give it 200, same octet as the other one. And the subnet mask is class C, and the default gateway, I think mine said dot two, give yours dot one or dot two, just look at what it was in the VM network editor. Oops. Mine was two, though. And then you can give it DNS information. So you can give it this machine's normal IP address, 192.168.1.200, and just a public IP, I think, 8.8.8.8. Okay. Once that's all filled in, click OK. All right. You get a little warning thing here about multiple gateways. Just click Yes. It's fine. All right. And that is what you need to set up to do Lab 10. So let's do Lab 10. So I have 
my lab him manual here in front of me. So, a little bit. so I changed the instructions. I'm only going to do the NAT portion. I'm not going to do the Wireshark portion. Guys, yeah, the Wireshark portion, most students are getting through that without any problem. So I've already ran through doing the snapshot, setting up the second network interface. Um, and now, if for those of you who are on the book, we're landing right on step number, let's say step number one. Uh, yeah, of exercise 5-3 on page 204 of the book. So that's where we're landing right here. So I'm just going to kind of walk through these steps here really fast. So I'm going to open up PowerShell. Open up PowerShell. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the PowerShell command to install routing services. Just install uh, dash those features feature routing read man controls. Okay, I mistyped it there. Okay, it was install dash windows feature. That's what the problem was, not install space dash windows feature. Too literally. But this will take a second. Come up. Sorry for the confusion. And while that's doing that, you can also check your IP config by just going to a regular command prompt. Typing IP config all over. All. So you now see that I have that second IP in here. It's good. Okay, so now that, that is finished, we can click on the windows and type in R-O-U-T. R O. There it is. R O U T, routing and remote access. And when this comes up, you're going to see your server down here. It may not say Bozo AD, it'll probably say something different. But just right click on the server and click on configure and enable routing and remote access. And then you're going to click on next. And you're going to select that. And you're going to click on next. Now, here's the gig. Um, it doesn't show up. You should have this radio button here with the interfaces, but it does not show up. After you install the routing feature, it's one thing I don't like about um, the uh, Windows operating system. Got to do a reboot. So, yep, you got to do a reboot. So let's do a restart. I'll be back when it's restart. Okay, so I've gotten my system stored and log back in. Now, if I go back to routing, looks like this needs to happen. E, 
try and access. Come down here to the server, right click, get your routing, click next, click on that. I now see my Ethernet interfaces, yay. So the original one, Ethernet zero, we're gonna consider that our public uh, interface. And we'll consider the one we just made our private interface, our inside interface. So it's right here asking use the public interface to correct, to connect to the internet. So I'm just gonna click on Ethernet zero, click next. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Click finish. Take a second. And this is just the basic setup for routing. Uh, you have to have two interfaces to do routing. That's why it was kind of throwing lots of people off. Uh, and now you see the little green arrow here, which is a checkbox. And it populates everything for IPv4 and IPv6, right? And you can make uh, stuff for static routes and IGMP and NAT and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, they do want you to do one additional thing for your firewall, which is a good um, exercise. So if I go back to PowerShell, I'm a big proponent of learning how to do PowerShell. Um, and one of these steps in the book, I think it was step eight, they have you just set up a pass through for ICMP for ping traffic. Now you're not, we're not going to be able to test this, but it's just good practice to put it in here. So new dash net. Firewall rule space dash play name space in the loud dash direction space down space dash action allow dash protocol CMP B4 dash enable space true. That is a long line of code. And if you don't get it right, you'll get an error. So we go back through here and just double check that I wrote everything, right? New dash that's So new dash firewall. So it doesn't like this here. Oh, action it's, it's two seats. All right. Coach had a new a typo. So once you do that, you can get a screenshot of this, which is fine. And that will basically tell you that you just, you know, wrote a new firewall rule. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the ping tests or anything for, for this lab. Uh, answer the questions in the lab. Do, of course, do the, the um, Wireshark portion of it. Again, you won't be able to do this in um, the net lab fully. Uh, instead of going through and making the, the additional interface, because it will allow you to make the additional interface on the server, because uh, you cannot create it in VMware. So what you can do instead is just uh, click on the default second radio button and go through the process there. That's fine. Um, and then you can still do the, the network firewall rule uh, and go through that steps, uh, which is fine. I, I will grade LinkedIn on. But so if you can't,
do this in NetLab. Don't sweat it. Do as much as you can. Do the uh, do the Wireshark portion on your own machine because the machines in NetLab do not have um, access to the internet, so you can't download Wireshark. But you can do that on your own machine. That's where you find uh, and you get as much as you, as you can uh, down. I like doing this lab because it teaches a little bit about networking, a little bit about firewalling. Um, which is very, very, very important to system administrators. So I know it's a little bit of a challenge. Um, sorry if you're using network, it doesn't work out fully to uh, the expectations, but do as much as you possibly can. So good luck with this one, and we'll see you around. Thank you very much.